My name is Radha Puvendran. Uh, I'm a professor in uh, UWC department. Uh, I've been here since 2000. Uh, my area is in the intersection of cybersecurity, machine learning, cyber physical systems, and network system, large scale network systems. In my opinion, uh, there are a couple of areas that are going to define the current and the future for generations to come. Uh, this is like energy, environment, health, and then comes to cyber. So intersecting uh, many of these areas is cyber. And another cross-cutting area is AI. So the computing uh, platforms and algorithms, along with engineering, is going to be the foundation for many of these technological problems and their solutions that we are going to develop. So how do we provide uh, trustworthiness for such systems? Even when we do not know the manufacturer or we cannot trace who the origin is. These are important problems. But we also need to often come up with methods to provide privacy after deployment of many of these systems. That includes hardware platforms, sensor networks, uh, distributed uh, network systems, and also our large emerging AI systems. That is at the heart of all the courses that we are developing in ECEPMP. We want to make sure that our students are able to provide solutions that are excellent and beyond the current state of the art while guaranteeing the user privacy and security. Uh, what is of interest is for the students to learn how to reason about the network protocols, where the vulnerabilities could be, how to make sure that uh, they develop good analytical techniques in the sense of implementation and also analysis of the protocols for not only detecting where the vulnerabilities are, but also make sure that the next generation of the protocols are high quality. The second course is about how to apply machine learning for cybersecurity. There are two components when it comes to machine learning. One is how one applies machine learning for performance and security. Other one is the vulnerability of machine learning systems themselves. As part of this course, they are going to learn very large scale models, CNN and all kind of uh, models. And not, not only that, they are going to see how to use public data set to model and perform and improve the system. The next one is the tiny machine learning course. This course helps the students to understand how to take the giant DNN networks or the cloud-based machine learning network, very large models, and then how do we squeeze it into really resource-constrained tiny devices that are left unattended, often operate for longer periods, six months or so. This is a hands-on course and the students learn how to formulate the problem, how to state the problem, how to make use of the sensors to collect data, and how to convert the data into a format that the machine can start processing. This certificate is very valuable for anyone who is interested in advancing their professional career. The topics that are covered and the areas that are covered in this ACE certificate are very advanced. That's what the industry is looking for right now. So dynamic nature of these courses are going to make sure every student of ours in this certificate program is the most desirable candidate to be hired by the industry across the world. The most important prerequisite for taking these courses is that you have the mindset that you are an engineer, computer scientist, what we do is we solve puzzles. We solve problems. We don't memorize problems and solutions. So you're going to be faced in this course with problems that are new that you may not be facing, you may not have seen earlier. I think you will enjoy the course. I mean, I, I love teaching these courses. So it's very interactive. Students uh, work together. It's a teamwork. We learn together. And I think it'll be fun.